just going along. Oh, shoot! Oh, man! Oh, I just... Oh, man. Man, oh, that is not going to be easily removed. Looks like we, uh, the belt is all right. Uh, looks like we uh, broke some trines off and bent up our reel. Oh man, I'm gonna have to call. Uh, Buck and see if he uh, can repair this. I don't think we can do this. So my wife picked me up here, so I'm just trying to figure out our options, what we have. Let me call Buck. Hey, Buck, you there? Uh, yeah, how you doing, Stevia? Hey, uh, I was wondering, I ran a tree into my McDonald header you sold me the other day. Would yeah. you possibly work on that? We'll work on any of the equipment up at the dealer, just if it's not John Deere, Kubota, or Vermeer. If we charge a little more because of the fact that we have to get parts from a different company, it won't come from cheaper stuff that we get because we're the dealer, authorized stuff. But, yeah, we'll work on it. What what happened? Did you, like, screw up the, the belt? Uh, what? I... Bent the reel a little up. I broke some tines Ooh. off, so it, it's pretty extensive damage. Yikes. Um, well, I got, we can take a look at it, but... I mean, if it's not too bad, we'll, we'll fix it up. But if it's too extensive, then we might just ask if it's not even more, if it's worth your money. All right. Well, hopefully, because, man, that's going to be a major expense. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about heading down can to the dealer. I want to talk about this 4960. I'm thinking uh, possibly talking about a permanent fix to this farm. Okay, I'll go up. But yeah, that'd, that'd be fine. We I'll just have to go up to the place, take a look, make sure we got all not like someone's waiting for it after you get it back, but. If everything else clears, then yeah, sure, we can set up a sale deal for you. All right, sweet. Uh, are are you around the dealer right now? Um, right now I am right on my way to work. I just had to come about. I had to go home quick. I had to mow a few spots on my yard. So they said it's kind of slow day, but otherwise I'm heading right out right now. I'm probably half a mile from dealer. All right, well I'm gonna head there right now. All oh, right, I'll, I'll just be in the, uh, the main office. All right, I'm pulling up. Mm -hmm. All right, pulling in here. Oh, look, looks like uh, Buck is over there by his uh, behind the desk. That's good. Have him come out here and look at this reel, and hopefully, it's not totaled. Hey, it's DVO. Hey, Buck. You. So, yeah. apparently, you got the uh, the header here. So, yeah, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, I can tell you got a little bit of a tree problem. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely. Spread on. Yeah, that thing Ooh. definitely bent some stuff up. Yeah, and, uh, that does not look pretty. Woo! Oh, uh, yep, that t those teeth are chipped. Um, well, we can take this into the, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Yep. Um, we can take this into the shop. We can take a look at it. We'll see once we get the tree out what the extensive damage is. If it's going to be worth your money to fix it or if it's going to be just something that you might as well either get a new one or we can try and replace a, the 45 foot draper from deer with you. I don't know if that'll hook up to those cases though. You'd have to come up here and test it. Because okay. otherwise, I don't. I believe those are still universal kind of attached joints. But if not, we can get you. We can order some stuff for you. Get you a new header and all. We'll we'll take care of you. Let's leave it at that. We'll take care of you. 
But if we can't do anything, then we'll definitely keep our eyes open. And we can shoot you a text if we find something on the auctions. And okay. That's. But that's the that's, that looks like the situation right now because of course, just looking at this, it's not pretty. But no, who it's knows? Not. Maybe we're just kind of overreacting because I mean, yeah, sure, a bent reel that's not gonna be cheap. No. Nope. But depending on whether or not if we can bend it or weld it back to a sturdy point, then. Let's hope for the best. All right. Yeah, I was. I'm glad that the McDon split up the reel between the two because that probably would have been totaled the whole reel. Yeah, if you'd have, if that had been one solid reel, you'd be kind of busted. Um, but what I'll have you do is, if you can, um, I'll probably have you. If you can follow me here. Okay. I'll probably have you bring it to. I guess shoot. I don't think anything's in the bays right now. Most likely the middle bay because it's got the it's got the best this length. Yeah, I just got you know. So let me roll these lifts back. Okay, man. Yeah, these things are nice. Uh, let me just roll these in quick. Get this in here, and then we'll just roll them over to storage, and I'll have you back it in over here. Okay. There you go. All right. Wow, that's. Cool. I can back. Yeah, we get, I don't know. It was a really good deal we got on these lifts. Um, but I'll have you back that header most likely in on this bay door because of the fact that it is the longest and most clearance most likely. Okay. Uh, and also, I know yes. I'm probably my pocketbook is going to be light with that header repair. Mm -hmm. I was uh, hoping to talk about uh, purchasing that 4960. That we also can do. I'd have to run inside quick and grab the paperwork for it if you're really looking to buy it. But I can actually tell you what we're asking for that. How much? We're asking sixty-two five for it. Mm, I'm not. Beans, you're helping me out. I'm not going to Jew you. I think. I think I will seal the deal on that one. All right. Um. Well, let's head inside quick. We'll kind of get this stuff figured out. And once we get all this jib-jab stuff, then we'll get the header back in. We'll get that worked out and we'll get you back to your, get back to farm. Okay. Okay. So these are the papers for the MacDon. Okay. So what we're going to have you do here is we'll have you fill out the rest of the paperwork once we call you back. Okay. If um, it's worthy or not, if we can get it all fixed, and so you'll just be signing the first two pages, all right. And that will be to say that you are giving us the we're taking it over, we're taking the we're taking the piece of machinery from you, and we're going to take a look at it. Anything that breaks, that is actually our fault. We will pay for it, but anything that you have done is your payments that you will do. So anything that we break, we will cover, but if you break it. But if it was broken by you, that part will be your end of the of the payment. All right, I'm sure I broke a few parts. <laughs> All right. All right. Put that down here in the things to do. Grab the beers, which is over here, actually. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. So you're. So this is the couple pages that you will need to sign. Um, do you want to get a warranty on this? Uh, a little, the warranty will cover um, the next hundred hours you put on the vehicle. The next hundred and fifty hours that you put on the vehicle, anything that happens to it besides something stupid like you ramp it off the side of a cliff, we will cover anything that breaks out in the field. You bring it in, we'll cover it. Anything that possibly goes wrong with it, if we sold something that was faulty, we'll cover that when we repair it. But if it's anything too extensive, then we'll ask if you even really want to repair it. But that's just for if you want the warranty, that's an extra twelve hundred dollar option, making it sixty three seventy for the total. But it, again, it covers you for an extra hundred fifty um, hours put on that vehicle. Uh, sure. It sounds like a good option. Let's talk to Macdon. So, how do you want us to get that in there? Do you want to try and remove the tree branch here, or do you want to try us to get it in? Do you want us to try and do you want us to try and get the Macdon in the shop to remove the branch, or do you want to try and remove the branch out here? 
Uh, I would say probably just try to remove it here so I don't get all of the pine cones and needles in your shop. So prevent okay. the guy that has to sweep that sh stuff up from working hard. Well, true. I mean, I wouldn't want Tony to work too hard. But let's go out there and we'll see if we can't do something about it. All right. So got to make sure we're safety gear. It's always a good idea. Yep. Even though it's overloaded. Overrated sometimes. Uh, let's see here. Most likely it's going to cut it about right here. Oh, wow. That yeah. really cleaned it up quickly. Yeah, I'm a master at cutting trees. It looks like All it. Right. Let me uh, pick this up so I don't leave it on your lot. All right. I mean, do, you, do you care if I use your truck or you want me to use a different one? Yeah, you can use the truck. All right. I'll see if... Uh, See if I can't figure out this here old Dodge. I had to drive Austin's once. So it looks about the same year. Alright, so we got the Mac done in there. We'll take a look at it. We'll, like I said, we'll let you know when we got everything else done with it. But I don't think you need anything else right now if I'm correct. Nope, I'm good. Thanks for helping back that up for me. Oh yeah, no no problemo. We'll, uh, we'll get that up here and... Uh, I gotta get this site updated after finally however many days it's been, but then I gotta get home and I gotta mow. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next few days. We might, if it takes too long, I might have to, uh, loan one of your John Deere headers. Yeah, possibly, depending on, uh, you're, you're in the middle of weed harvest, aren't you? Yep. Oof. Yeah. I mean, if you need to do something, we can settle that up, but right now... We don't really have a whole lot that we can do besides the two headers, but they still need to get kind of serviced from him when they were being helped with down at your other field, your uncle's. We still need to get those things tweaked on, so I can't offer you anything right now, but probably two days from now, I think Thursday, we could probably get that to you if you need it. All right, no problem, bud. Drive safe. All right, later, Buck. All right, well, that was eventful, so... Good thing Buck was able to get that into the shop right away because we're right in the middle of wheat harvest and we need that thing fixed right now because it is fall and we still have wheat in the field. So hopefully that was a major setback, but hopefully it won't be too bad for us. So I had some time to kill, so I thought I'd just relive my football days of when I got to play on this nice turf on the football field but we need to get to so the dealership local dealership said they may have an auger that works for us well we're gonna go down there and see if that auger will of course we gotta stop by Casey's and fill up the gas tank and fill up our belly now we got a little pizza in us. Let's get to the dealership. All right, so we're pulling up to the dealerships. Uh, I think they said they have all, I see it in the back there. Yep, little farm king. Let's take a look at it before they get out here. A 13.95, that is one thick auger there so that will put some grain through that's for sure looks like about a 12 inch maybe maybe a little bit more everything looks pretty good as a uh... yeah everything looks good the auger looks in good shape see how much they want for this thing so we got the deal sold so twenty thousand dollars we got the auger I don't know if that's a good deal or a bad deal but we were hurting we needed an auger so probably a little bit bigger than what we needed for our operation as in uh, grain handling capabilities so but pretty good auger so we'll get this hooked up and get it back to the farm so we can start putting grain in Definitely gonna have to put the blinkers on. Yeah. Whew. Well, that is 
One wide load. Yeah, look at that thing in the rear view. Gonna have to stop traffic for this thing. So we're just pulling in here. This giant auger. Pulling down our road here. Looks like everything's not going too bad. I think we'll just take this directly to the bin set and uh, set up our uh, 4020 on it. You guys probably haven't e don't even know I have a 4020. I haven't hardly even used it. Ooh, don't have much room to maneuver this thing. Okay, so we got it set up. Auger fits perfectly on the bin. So man, is that a tall auger. So I'm hoping this 4020, we'll have to give it all it's got to run this auger because that is one big auger. So now I would like to empty uh, our grain into here. So we'll go over and get our trucks that are full. All right, pulling this over here. So I actually uh, do think I have a uh, possible trailer I could buy for this truck to make it uh, more road worthy so I don't have to go at slow speeds pulling the gravity wagon. So hopefully I can seal the deal on that. But for now, we need to empty the gravity wagon. So, we'll start unloading the wheat here. Now we gotta start unloading the gravity wagon. Working nicely. Gravity wagon always goes a little bit slower. So oh, we're headed up. I'm gonna go look at a possible pup trailer for this truck. So I think Buck says that the parts are in and uh, he thinks they could get it fixed today. So hopefully later on today we could start harvesting our wheat again. There should be a farm in the back here that has a pup trailer. Pos oh, I see it. Oh, I don't. It's over there, but I don't know how to get to it. So I finally got back here, had to wind and it's a weird road they have in the background here. Whew, it's a pretty red. Don't know if it'll exactly go with that, but at least it's pretty close. It's red on red. It's sure shiny red. Looks like a pretty good trailer. Hopefully they don't want too much for it. I think it's holds about 800 bushel. Let's go see if we could seal this deal. Better go on the front door. Alright, so our pocketbook is $40,000 smaller now, but we have a pup trailer, so it should work good for our operation. Make this into a very efficient setup. See if we could get this backed up. We got it hooked up, hooked up nicely to our uh, little grain truck. So let's get this to the field. And this is a windy path we have to go through here. Get to the road finally. Here we go. 
Now we need to get to the field and go down and see if Buck is done with our header. So we're just unloading our grain cart here while we still are waiting. Give us a call for our header being done. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. Really like this pup so far. Really low, easy to see your grain. Everything's pretty easy. Has a electric uh, roll-up tarp on it. So we just pulled this directly out of their shop and looks good. Everything has been repaired. The reel looks good. Tines, all that. The sickles, all that has been replaced. So everything looks good. So I think we need to start harvesting right away. Cost us $20,000. I know. Our pocketbook is getting short real quick. But we need to get to work so we can uh, put some grain into our bins and hopefully uh, we'll be able to pay the bank off this year. We will see though. Pulling out of their lot there. Got to take that turn off a wide so we don't clip their mailbox. We will see you at the field. So we got the header everything done we got the combine greased up we should be ready to go let's see if this header works oh yeah everything's working let's get this wheat harvested we're still making uh, 187 bushels per acre so it doesn't look like we had any wheat loss even though it's been multiple days really worried about this wheat falling down uh, the heads shelling out kernels and everything so we are way behind I saw squad was uh, harvesting soybeans already so yeah that's that's way behind for us we need to get this all done and we need to get this field uh, plowed up. So I plan on uh, slightly adjusting this field. I don't want to farm the field how it is. I'll probably put some uh, water waves in it at least. So there is some uh, ditches and some hills that don't have the same yield. I don't know if it's worth uh, planting them, so thinking about uh, planting some grass, making some waterways, uh, preventing some erosion in this field, but we will see. So we're going to be harvesting very, very careful around these trees. We do not need another $20,000 mistake. Let me tell you, that is not uh let's say great mistake to have when you're starting up as farming but things like that happen so we're gonna go around here while we're going around so make a nice pass so make sure we stay away from all the tree limbs and all that i did walk this area just to make sure there wasn't anything in the field Everything looks good so far. Things running good, so hopefully I can finish this field today. We will have to see. So finally, we are on our last little sliver of this field. So I'm thinking I've gotten about 15,000 bushels in my storage. So I got a really a lot of bushels off of this field. So that'll go a long ways to financing the startup of this farm. 
Just got one little sliver left. Dump this into our truck. And we are done. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later. Here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.